Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that's not in the movie as well. Because, mm -hmm. of course, you're dealing with a book and then, you know, a movie. So a lot of times, unless it's a small book, there's a lot of stuff that's cut out. A small book, yeah. It's a little book. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that's not there. So the flight attendant, that whole relationship isn't there. Um, and uh, But then other things are expanded, like you get... It's not his daughter, it's his wife, but you get that that character is you all the characters you get more depth from. In but movie, definitely yeah. the bromance between uh John and, and Al, Al yeah. or Joe and Al. Uh that that area that you get a lot yeah. more with that. Because yeah, I didn't I didn't feel the bromance so much in the book. Mm -hmm. I mean it was there. But uh, it just it because just we weren't getting more... Al's POV. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right. So we were suspicious of him a little bit, just like Joe yeah. was. Yeah. But John was not. Mm -hmm. Well, he might have been in the beginning, but the suspicion kind of went through the the entire book almost, with like not the entire book, but it's it kept coming up something would happen and he'd be like, okay, whose would, side is this guy on? It would kind of shake the, the trust a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the book, one, or in the movie, once John trusted him, but I mean, Al didn't really do and anything, didn't do all those many, all those many, all that many things to, to create that suspicion in the movie. Mm -hmm. But that could also have been because we saw his POV. Uh, without that POV, maybe some of the things he said would have been suspicious. I don't know. But uh, you were just, in the book, you were more wondering, Al just seemed like a shapeshifter, a shapeshifter character, where, not like shapeshifter from Supernatural, great episode though, but um, shapeshifter character where you're just not sure where, who he's, who his friends are, like who he's ally, allied with, allianced with, mm -hmm. who he's... Uh, it's late words English not working um, who he is aligning himself with aligning that's the word I was looking for who he's mm -hmm. aligned with and in the movie there's no doubt who he's aligned with John might kind of doubt it mm -hmm. early on or whatever but he uh, yeah yeah but I mean Al was that lifeline um, throughout the, the book and the movie mm -hmm. for Joe, John. Um, the thing that I, I found Al actually for myself a little bit more realistic in the book. Not realistic, uh, maybe that's not a good choice of words, but just the, the growth of the relationship seemed a little bit more Believable. like real life to me because you know, Al was actually walking a line between his police department and his his uh, relationship or his what his duty to them, and John, Joe, who he felt was a he felt he was a police officer. So there is that brotherhood kind of understood, but at the same time, you know, as a police officer. You, I, and there could be police officers watching this, and if I'm wrong, please tell me. Mm. But I think a lot of times police officers have to be so cautious and a, always a little bit suspicious of everything, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, he just was kind of like, okay, you know, I know what you're doing, and we really appreciate what you've done, but now you gotta, you gotta take a, a back seat and stop, right? Yeah. And he was saying in the book, and I know that Al actually said that in the movie too, but it was more so in the book. You know, it's like, okay, now we're the police officers, you need to stop and you need but to let us do our job, right? In the book though, even after he got the file on Joe, mm -hmm. he was still saying it because Joe was no longer a cop. Mm -hmm. He's a mm -hmm. consultant. Yeah. Right? So that could have had a lot to do with the fact that he remained or remained um, a little bit hard and fast about that rule 
in the book, mm -hmm. which made those, that incident in the last few pages even more um, puzzling. Away. Puzzling. No, I was, I was going to say yeah. doubtful or whatever, but <laughs> puzzling. But, like, he's not a cop in the book. He's yeah. retired. Mm -hmm. He's a consultant. So, yeah, he's going to be like, okay, you're not a cop, mm -hmm. so you need to back off now. Mm -hmm. You need to let the cops handle it. But yeah. in the movie, he gets the folder, he gets the, the background on John, and he knows that he's a cop. Mm -hmm. Finally, like, it takes a while. But, mm -hmm. but I agree that before he got that background, he was really quick to, to trust John. Mm -hmm. But that could just be the same way, you know, um, like in Speed. When... I was thinking Speed at the same time. <laughs> That's so funny. Because there, there's that... Um, I don't know if it was the theme per se, but there's a, a talk about memorable it line in it how yeah. he's like um, She said relationships built and yeah, he says it later on because she says it early I think Oh, okay. and then she says it when they're on the the When they first get off the bus okay. She says it yeah. and then he, he says, says it, it when they end. at the very end he throws yeah. it back at her and she's like Yeah, whatever yeah, and muckles onto him, but um so it could just still be the same thing where they're dealing with this high tension situation right. yeah and it it kind of bonds them mm -hmm. oh, and definitely. he like al was there for the body falling out of the window he was there to he probably heard stuff over the radio i think mm -hmm. he heard stuff over the radio when john when everything was first happening so he and he's not a freaking dick like the police chief guy sorry he, he was. Judgy much? yes 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 <laughs> because don't even like Dwayne even if he was disbelieving of John he was also very he was a, a real jerk to Al yeah he wasn't who was somebody that he, he works people. with yeah. yeah so yeah he's a dick I stand by my judgment Okay. Part of it, you can't go into the book expecting it to be the movie. No. You know, just go into it to enjoy. If you go into it to enjoy a Maybe good read action. the detective first. And That's, then... Yeah, I'd like to read that. And it's funny. One thing that I read about um, with this, when I found out that it was a, the book was a sequel to The Detective, and The Detective was actually done as a movie, which I think we should yeah. do that as well. But... Um, Frank Sinatra was in it. Now, it must have been in his contract, okay, from doing that movie, that if there was any sequel done, that he would be offered uh, the part first mm -hmm. for Joe Leland, right? Because he was offered the part for, for John McClane in Die Hard first, right? And he, uh, he turned it down. And then many other action yeah kind of hero types like Schwarzenegger Stallone um who else there was there was a bunch of them that were very popular in the 80s for for yeah. action hero movies and they turned yeah. down the role yeah. and they kicked themselves after that opening weekend I'm sure really I if I'm picturing now Trust me, I love Schwarzenegger, Stallone. Oh no, I'm not saying that they should have uh, been in those, the role. I love those movies. I loved action movies. Always have been an action food, action food, <laughs> action movie junkie. <laughs> I want some of that but, action food. Yeah. <laughs> but I really think that was the role. Oh yeah. For, for absolutely Bruce no. I I would I His even mom. Cracking. Our mother is saying that she can't picture anyone oh, sorry, else in that no, movie so other than Bruce Willis. Like um, anyone else in that role. There was one other person I saw that was mentioned that was offered it and I was like, you know what, he might have been able to pull it off. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sinatra, Mel Gibson. That's so the I one. Refuse the role That's the one because uh, he was he did Lethal Weapon. And in Lethal Weapon, he, you know, did the wisecracking, more crazy wisecracking, mm -hmm. whereas Bruce Willis does the just smart aleck, class clown kind of wisecracking. 
but I thought of all the ones that it had been offered it, I think he might have been able to pull it off, but I still think Bruce Willis, it was the best for him. And then actually when Mel Gibson turned down Die Hard, not long after he took the, he, he ended up taking yeah. the Lethal Weapon uh, one, which is a Christmas one too. I was thinking that, that they might have um, rewrote re it a little bit, it a bit, yeah. bit to because of Bruce Willis's wisecracking that he did in Moonlighting. For the, fit what, the, the role, this. yeah. But it says here, despite the controversy surrounding Bruce Willis being cast, the decision would go down as one of the best in action movie history. Yeah, he rocked that role. That he was rocked just... that role. He rocked and <laughs> rock and roll. Rocked the role. <laughs> um, I think it's I. I don't know what elements were in it in the script before. What elements that may may have been like the ones in the book? Mm -hmm. Maybe the ending. Who knows? But. Uh, then they they switched it up to to fit Bruce Willis's mm -hmm. acting style mm -hmm. better, and I think that that was an excellent choice as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. rec I recommend so, the book. I yeah. I really enjoyed it. But again, don't look for it to be just like the movie. Yeah. Um, but very enjoyable, good book, good story. Uh, I I liked it. I really did. And they kept yeah. a lot of like the book. You know, there's elevator scenes, there's the party, there's Ellis, there's, um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that they kept that was the same, like, going down into Except the, uh, the lines that we gave at the beginning yeah, of this video. Geronimo is the same. It. Geronimo was yeah. in it, but none of the other lines, and those are some of the best lines in that movie. Mm -hmm. Some of them. I mean, there's great lines. I don't know. Do you look for lines in a book? I mean, there are. Quotes. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a there's few lines. lines in the book. Uh, no, but do you, I don't know if you look for specific quotes from books as much as you do with movies. No, you do. do you, I know that you have like research is fun and stuff. Yeah. Like, with with yours, um, I don't know. I just it's, I don't I don't look for them so much in a book as I do, and I don't know. If well, I look they for do them it more movie, and more but, now. I, I think so that you can have like little quotes in your tagline. Or so it's, in it's your mark, in your, your blurb, but it's also to make it memorable. Mm -hmm. Like there's different quotes that I've read in some books that that stick with me. Yeah, I think it depends on the reader. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say about? No. Nothing lasts forever or die hard. No. A lot of really good scenes in in both of them that are shared with both, and, and then, really good. Yeah, it's a really good book. And read the book because you're not getting just the straight movie all over again type of yeah. thing. Yeah, and yeah. it's, the book is one POV while the movie has multiple mm -hmm. POVs throughout, so. Yeah. But it's kind of fun reading the book and then watching the movie and seeing the differences. Like, I remembered the movie. I hadn't watched it nearly as many times as you, but when I watched the movie again after reading the book, it was, it just added that little extra. Mm -hmm. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. highly yeah. recommend both. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So that's so, what we have for you this week. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys. Have a great day and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.